Talk about something pretty special. You know, we've got the second annual Christmas on Ice coming up, uh, benefiting the Ludington Area Schools Resource Center. And we have the individual, and you know who she is. We talked to her before. Uh, she is the, uh, I believe you're the director of the Basic Skills U.S. Figure Skating out at uh, West York Community College. Yes. And Devin Carrasco is live here in studio. First of all, if anybody's followed you on Facebook, they know how much work you've done already. And uh, I just can't believe when you initially started talking about this event. I mean, you came on, you were talking about the girls going over to Midland and, and competing. And now I've got a flyer. You've got a list, uh, the length of your arm of how many sponsors are going to help out. And I just find that so cool that so many people want to i think this is i think this is a, a piece of history because it's never happened here before and you're taking figure skating to a totally different level and this big event coming up on the 20th from one to four you've got the, the big guy from the north pole that's going to stop on by you got an ugly sweater competition uh let the listeners in on uh, since the last time we talked to you uh basically what we're talking about with this uh, christmas on ice what's going to happen uh i know we got drawings we've got so many giveaways and uh what's going on with this event that's coming up on the 20th well what it is um bill is a skating party and it is designed to help out our community um it's a food drive for like you said the Ludington area school resource center mm -hmm. um to get into the party we ask for a, mac a minimum of one non-perishable food item per person Okay. Um, we welcome as many non-perishable food items as a person can bring. Okay. Um, they're going to come in um, with their donation. They're going to get skating, skate rental, as long as we have skates. Right. If anyone has skates, please bring them. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to get a visit with Santa. I have um, a photographer coming out. Ellen Knudsen is going to be taking pictures of everybody with Santa, and everyone will get a digital copy after the event. Um, of their photo. Now, is that um, at cost or that is that is being no donated? Charge. Wow. That is all donation. Wow, that's um, awesome. And like you said, we have a ton of things to give away. Mm -hmm. um, everybody will get a ticket, a numbered ticket, and um, we will have numbers called off throughout the entire event, giving away a bunch of prizes mm -hmm. um, that have all been donated from all of our local sponsors. Now, they do need to be present to win because, you know, you are going to be calling off numbers, and you don't want to just keep calling numbers after numbers if people aren't there. You know, you want them to stay, and I'm sure they're going to. Uh, these are This is all for a great cause, and the prizes you have, uh, the list that we were talking about before you came on the air, it's just uh, incredible. You've got some uh, great people stepping up to help out this great cause. It's absolutely amazing how um, this community jumps in and is willing to help. Um, yeah, I mean, we have everything. I have pizzas coming from Hungry Howie's. I have breakfast from Brenda's Harbor Cafe. Um, House of Flavors has donated scoops of ice cream. Um, I have the Scotty's gift certificate. Um, movie passes to the Harbor 8 Cinema. Mm -hmm. um, trying to think what else. I have passes for Sandcastles. Mm -hmm. um, just a ton of stuff. I mean, the list goes on and on. I have t-shirts from Gordy Skate Company. Wow. Um, I have coffee and mugs and this amazing looking caramel sauce from the new Big B uh. Coffee. Um, and it, yeah, we're, it's all... We want to send it all home. <laughs> well, that's good. And you know what? Uh, this event that's going to go between 1 and 4 p.m. out at the West Shore Community College Ice Arena on Sunday, December 20th. So it's a Sunday. It's a great time. You know, I, I realize football is on, but you know what? This is a great cause. You need to get out here and, and it, just enjoy what we have um, you definitely want to get out there because, you know, uh, not only are you going to be skating, but you can also sign up for your Learn to Skate program. Uh, you get a free T-shirt, have your picture taken with Santa. I mean, Learn to Skate, it, it takes a lot to get out there on skates, first of all, if you've never done it. And Learn to Skate, doesn't they don't just throw you out on the ice. They, they teach you, you know, the basics of how to skate, you know, how to stay safe and, and so forth. And uh, are you going to be teaching that, or is that going to be through uh, the, uh, the other 
um, guys out there at the college. Nope, that is the class that I teach. Okay, good. Um, And then um, the Learn to Skate program, like you said, it gets our kids figure skating. It also is the first step into getting the kids into hockey. Mm -hmm. So we, you know... Um, recommend for the young skaters, keep kids who have never skated that have a diehard want right. to play hockey, start with the learn to skate and then move into the learn to play. Um, now how long is the learn to skate program? They run six weeks each yeah. session. Right. Um, cost is $50 and that does include skate rental for kids wow. that need skates. Um, during the event, they can also, kids who are ready, know how to skate, can also sign up for the learn to play program as well. Nice. And uh, learning to skate, I mean, it's just, it's getting, uh, it, a lot of people are afraid to fall. And I think when you learn to skate, you're going to fall. It's just like when you walk, you're going to fall. When you ride a bike, you're going to learn how to fall, you know. Uh, get out there, you're going to get your bumps and bruises. But, I mean, uh, it, it's, it's a workout. It's great cardio. And, uh, you know, you can keep moving and advancing yourself, like you said, to figure skate, to play hockey, to maybe be a referee if you don't want to play hockey or something. Sure. I mean, there's always something you can do on skates, and uh, I think that's neat. And when you look at the price, you say 50 bucks. people say, well, you got to consider ice time is very expensive. Very. Very expensive. You know, to do like a three-hour event, I think it's running over, well, last time I did one, it was over 300 bucks. And I'm sure it's more because ice time, uh, things don't get cheaper in this day. They get, they get more expensive. And I think that's neat because you give them the hands-on ability to learn how to skate. You, you don't get down on them. You don't yell at them. You're always there to encourage them. And I think that's the positive stuff that people need to get out on skates. Absolutely. I mean, when you were first on skates, they just didn't throw you on the ice and say, get out there and skate. No. <laughs> Did they? Yeah. I mean, I mean, parents, did. no, you don't do that. But uh you used to skate back down in Illinois, all over the suburbs and so forth. And uh, skating down there was it, it, it's huge. I mean, it's just, you know it is. It's so massive. You come up here, you know, the West Shore Wolves, you've got the co-op team, you know, the, the arena out there is just, it, it's just a great facility. And so many people have picked up on skating. And figure skating is the one thing, when I was talking to my mom about this, telling her about it, and she's like, what you know and i said yeah that stuff you see on tv and all i said they have it here and uh i told her i had you on the show and she's like well that was interesting because if no one else has done it you know you're going to be the one that everybody's going to look toward to get it you know to get into it and your class size from the beginning to what it is now has it has it improved has your class size gotten bigger classes have improved tremendously um when i first started we maybe had eight nine ten kids right. um the end of my first season i had about between 15 and 18 wow. um after the summer it's a little slow um we came back in the fall and i now have about 26 kids that are um, participating in the learn to skate program and that's awesome because i mean uh, i think that the big coverage that you you received with the uh, ladies going to midland i think it's not that the program wasn't going in the right direction because it was. I think that kick started it. Oh, definitely. The coverage, the pictures, and the medals, and kids saying, oh my gosh, they did it, you know, and now they want to be a part of it. And I think your class sizes are just going to keep uh, getting bigger and bigger. And you got so many things happening. You know, non perishable food. People may not know what that is. That's, uh, you know, it's not like you can't bring a pound of, uh, you know, uh, hamburger. No. It's got to be non-perishable. It's got to be, you know, like uh, the soups, the mac and cheese, the, the, the so forth, that uh, it's not going to go bad. And I think what you get for that is 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 going to be a memory, I think, that they're going to want to keep coming back and enjoying this. And one of the things I find interesting is you got an ugly sweater contest. And some of those can get really, really funny in a bad way. I mean, those some of those sweaters are so bad that you just laugh. You're like, how can someone humanly put something like that on? And that's what you want. <laughs> you want to have fun. You want to enjoy it. You want people to, and you know that some of them are going to come there and it's going to be some uh, pretty amazing sweaters. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm very excited about the sweater. You know, back pageant. in the days, I, it, those weren't considered ugly. Those were considered what you wore. Right. Now you look back and like, whoa, I look at those pictures and I'm thinking, man, I would win first place with that one. And my mom forced me to wear that. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy, but that's going to be, that's going to be fun. Now, how is this going to play out? Uh, it starts at one and it goes to four. You're not going to have, uh, 
open skate on the ice all the time. You're going to have different um, intermissions, so is what we call them, I guess. And you're going to have the ice is going to be clean. Uh, how's the pro? How's the program going to go, starting from one to four? Sure. Um, well, at one o'clock, um, we welcome everybody to come in. Come early if you want. That's fine too. Um, public skating will start at one o'clock, and it will go until two. At 2 o'clock, we're going to do an ice resurface. Mm -hmm. um, Santa Claus is going to arrive at 2. Nice. And kids can start seeing Santa. Like I said, um, Ellen Knudsen from Real Life Photos by Ellen will be taking um, the photos. Mm -hmm. And everyone will get a digital copy afterwards. Nice. Um, at 2.10, we're going to start um, our figure skating and learn to play hockey exhibitions. Um, I have... Four of my students, three of them who competed in Midland in November, um, Sydney Shemunik, I have Lilith Vela, and then Abigail Rodriguez and Abby Lease will nice. be um, doing some programs. The Abbeys are doing a duet, which is a lot of fun to work on. Oh, at the competition in Midland, they did, it was all individuals. Correct. So now you got to be careful. There's 200 feet of ice and not, you're not the only one out there. So yes. that's, <laughs> I, I, how's that, I mean, are they choosing the music? Do you know what it's going to be? And, and they're working on it right now, trying to get it. We've been working yeah. on it since the day we got home from oh, Midland. Oh, wow. Um, well, that's awesome. They, yeah, they're a lot of fun. That's um, going to be so awesome. Two 13 year old girls. Um, there's a lot of giggling, <laughs> but they work very hard, um, and they're super awesome. excited to show our community, you know, what they've learned starting out in the Learn to Skate program and just continuing wow. on and um, going further. How um, much harder is that when you do? When you're out there by yourself. I mean, it's like you're you're in the middle of the ocean, and you got all those people looking at you. But now you've got someone else to be careful uh, careful with out there, but. I think that's going to be neat. How do they transition to that? Do they just kind of just kind of block the other person out and just do what they have to do? Is that oh, basically? No. They have to be very in tune with each other. Oh, wow. Um, a lot of the time they are connected by wrist to each other, so they need to oh. not only worry about what they're doing, but they need to be aware of what their partner is doing. The timing is very important when mm -hmm. there's someone else because yeah. they want everything to be on time. Um, so, yeah, like I said, they work hard. Those girls are awesome. skating four hours a week. Um, they come out four different days of the week to work together. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm and people may excited. say four hours is not enough, is not long. I'm telling you, figure skating. When you figure that most of these time, when you look at them on TV, I think they're only out there for maybe what two, minute three minute, minute and a minute half. And half. It's not very yeah. long at all. So you're talking hours, and I mean this is a lot of work because it's. Not only like hockey where you got to skate out there and you're, you're chasing after this little puck and you're trying to beat the other guy up and stuff. This one, it's a lot of mental. It's a lot of preparing yourself to get out there and remember what you have to do, you know, for that minute and a half, two minutes. Or, I mean, that, that's, that's a lot of training to get this down. And, and I'm telling you, after what they did in Midland, I think this is going to be an, an amazing uh, event to watch and to see these ladies grow up kind of in front of you. It is. It is very yeah. cool. Um, so after the girls skate at around 2.30, the West Shore Wolves um, Learn to Play kids are going to do a jamboree-style exhibition mm -hmm. so that people get a feel for, you know, what Learn to Play is all about as right. well. Um, at 2.40, we're going to start the Ugly Christmas Sweater Pageant. Yes! <laughs> so excited. Can me and Boat take part of that, too? <laughs> you and Boat can take part. Of, okay. Absolutely. I expect it. No, I, you've got to. You know Boatman's going to come up with something really goofy. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> and then um, at 3 o'clock, we're going to resume the public skating. And Santa will be visiting with us until 3.30. So after that, you know, he's a busy man this time of mm -hmm. year. So he's going to have to head on out. And the event um, will then end at 4 o'clock. Um, and now this is the second uh, last year, or, or was it last year was the first one Correct. that they have? And, and are you already thinking about doing a third one next year, too? I've already <laughs> looked at dates for the That's third cool. and the fourth. That's awesome. So, yes. That's awesome. Well, I tell you, Devin, you do a heck of a job. I tell you, you've done an awful lot in a short period of time up here. And I think that uh, the community's absolutely wrap their arms around this and, and i think it's 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 awesome you know first of all that you've come on to the show and we gotten a chance to meet you you know boatman really well and uh i think the event is going to be it's going to be amazing when you look at it you know it's it's three hours that when you look at it and it's going to be amazing those girls are going to be out there the the learn to skate they're going to show off 
And I think you're going to have a line of people that maybe have been in that gray area of not sure if they want their kids to do it or if they don't want to do it. And I think this is going to push them over the edge and want to do it more. I yeah. hope so. I do. Now, will they have registration there? If somebody just says, hey, <laughs> that's enough for me. I want, I want to be in. Can they just register right then yep, and they there? They can register right there. Um, all the kids that register for Learn to Skate will get a free T-shirt. Cool. Um, yeah, it's wonderful. A couple other things we have going on that I think I forgot to mention. Um, I have a number of families that are preparing Christmas cookies for us. Oh. Um, so you, everybody with their entry ticket will get Christmas cookies. And I have um, juice from McDonald's. Mm. So free juice for everybody. Um, we will have Mancino's Donates Pizzas. We will um, sell for a dollar a slice awesome. Mancino's Pizza. Yeah. Um, I have hot cocoa for 50 cents a cup. And all of that money raised goes to the Ludington area. Um, school Resource Center as well. They get 100%. Now, what is the uh, the Ludington Area Schools Resource Center? What, is that, um, what does that entail then? Because I know it's the food, and I know you the donations and the money from the pizza and the uh, hot cocoa and stuff. Uh, what, what is exactly the Resource Center? Um, I believe their central office is based out of the high school. Okay. Um, they work with our kids, with our local kids, our local families. Um, from what I understand, that we have kids that go home they don't have dinner at home so they're able to True. stop into the resource center and get something to bring home with them um, wow. they get snacks they get stuff for when there's not school right. um, they help them out with necessities from what i need from what i understand um, i believe they work with the boots and coats mm -hmm. yeah, um, I've, I've heard it. yeah i've heard that yeah um, they're making sure that our kids are warm um, so it's just a great place to help out it's tough out there you know i mean it's it's just a constant struggle, you know, and to have resources like this. I did not know what the Ludington Area Schools Resource Center did, and you're right. And I've talked to um, other individuals here on the show, and we've talked about, you know, there's kids that are homeless. There's kids that don't have uh, a warm meal or a coat to stay warm. And those little basic necessities, if you could even help out just a little bit, means so much. Yep, every you little know? bit helps. That's yeah. why... We do one, one non-perishable food item per person. If you can right. bring a can of corn or peaches, it's going to mm -hmm. fill somebody's tummy, and it's going to be you know, a great feeling for those people. Well, I know I'm bringing a ton of food to give because I tell you, I personally can tell you that uh, I was in that situation before, and it's really neat that this area has that because, you know, <clears throat> having the resource, you know that there's issues out there, and, you know, by doing this, maybe we can solve and help as many kids as possible. Yep. And uh, I think that events like this are, are amazing because you're putting out so much of your personal time away from family and so forth. Well, not technically because your daughter's actually skating in this, but, yes. I mean, it's neat that so many people step up to do this to help out uh, the needy, and especially this time of year, too. You know, there's Christmas and, you know... <clears throat> I just did a, an event with the Lumberjacks. They did a teddy bear toss where they, you know, they threw 433 teddy bears out there. So you know that 433 kids that would not have gotten anything for Christmas are going to get something. Aww. And I think that means a lot uh, what you're doing because it's a shame that it has to happen, but it's a good thing that we have these resources to help out. Absolutely. And this event is definitely going to do it. It starts at 1, ends at 4 on December 20th. It's a Sunday. And the Ludington Area Schools Resource Center is going to be the beneficiary here, 100. percent And you're going to be, um, you got pizzas, uh, you got hot cocoa, non-perishable food item to get in. Um, you're going to show off your learn to skate. You're going to show off basically the entire program you have out there. Correct. And people, if they want to get involved, they can sign up right away. And uh, I think it's going to be neat. You're going to have the ugly sweater, which I look forward to to see because that's usually something that uh, you just non-stop laughing at because they're so creative. But yet you look back and you, maybe you're hiding some pictures from the past that, well, I used to have that sweater. So, <laughs> you know, that's crazy. But you got so many sponsors. I remember when we first started, when you first started out and you told me about it. And I've been following you on Facebook because you do have a, 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 a Facebook page for uh, for this, and is that the um, is it just second annual Christmas on ice? Is that what it is? Correct. Okay, yeah, you, people, you need to check that out because this thing has grown uh, support wise threefold. I mean, I couldn't believe how many people from beginning to where you're at now, and I'm sure they're still rolling it. So, I mean, there's always room for more. Always. Um, but I mean, it's going to be a busy night. You do have to be present to win, uh, and, and these prizes aren't just 
you know, here, here's a crayon. Thank you for coming. I mean, these are big time prizes and giveaways, and I think it's going to be a great event. Now, can you quickly, if you can, uh, the sponsors you have uh, coming into this, I mean, the people that have stepped up to help out this event has just made this already a huge event and hasn't even happened yet. Absolutely. Um, to start out, I thank you guys, you and Boatman. Um, Synergy Media has been great helping out, promoting, and um, having you guys out there that day is going to be wonderful. Um, Scotty's Restaurant in Ludington, the Cartier Park Campground, Sandcastle's Children's Museum, the Harbor 8 Cinema, nice. Jaff Productions, um, Real Life Photography by Ellen, Quick Print Plus, Country Lanes Bowling Center. Oh, they are giving out passes, so nice. we have lots of bowling. Bowling. Um, didn't want to leave them out. Um, McDonald's Restaurant, Brenda's Harbor Cafe, Mancino's Pizza and Grinders in Ludington, Gordy's Skate Company, Hungry Howie's Pizza in Ludington, The House of Flavors in Ludington, Applebee's of Ludington, B&M Screen Printing, and Big B Coffee of wow. Ludington. Have you been to the new Big B Coffee? I have been in there briefly. It smells fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I'm pretty sure their hot cocoa is probably pretty good. I'd li- I'd, and you got caramel, you said there. There's caramel sauce. That's just oh, exciting that's ri- than it's That's itself. ridiculous, yeah. Who needs, <laughs> who needs anything? You got caramel <laughs> sauce. I mean, <laughs> that and an ugly sweater contest. I'm good. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's amazing. And, and, you know, all the hard work that you put in. Uh, again, uh, what's a, your exact title? And if somebody wants to get a hold of you, uh, how can they get a hold of you to either maybe be a sponsor or to get more information about this event? My title um, at the Ice Arena is the U.S. Figure Skating Basic Skills Director um, and figure skating coach. Mm-hmm. Um, to get a hold of me, you can contact the Ice Arena. Um, you could reach me on Facebook. I do have two pages. One of them, I guess they both have skating photos right, right. now. Um, <laughs> one of them is a picture with me and the three girls that competed. That mm-hmm. is my um, skating profile. Okay. Um, you could look up the Christmas second annual Christmas on Ice event. You can message you know, on there. Um, West Shore Community Ice Arena Benefit Events okay. is also my page. Um, you can join awesome. there. You can message me there as well. Um, or you know, call direct to the rink, and they will get you in contact with me personally. Awesome. And, hey, if you can't skate but you want to do it and you know you're going to fall like I did, strap a pillow to your butt. I mean, <laughs> what the heck? I mean, <laughs> it's all for a good cause. It, it laughs and uh, family and friends get out there, and, and you know, you're going to be helping so many people by just coming out there, you know, it's amazing what one can of food can really do. It really is. Um, and we are welcoming, if you don't want to skate, can't skate, just want to come out and watch. And be a part bring of Bring a can of food and just come yeah. check it out, see what it's about. Um, I if have you want to bring 100 cans or 100 boxes, feel free. I mean, too, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just, it, right, if you don't, if you just want to sit there and enjoy the show, I mean, I think just taking it in would be uh, – a good day in itself, even if you don't want to skate. You're right. That's a that's a good point you brought up. Yep, it's a great atmosphere. Yeah. Um, last year we had a lot of fun. Everybody seemed to have a great time there. Um, and, yeah, we that's helped out cool. a lot of families. So. Now they're going to resurface this between, what, the first open skate and then when your girls go on because you don't want to be out there on chopped ice. Yeah, no. That <laughs> makes the divots, and that's dangerous. And how long is the uh, – the uh the session going to go uh uh with your skaters um between the figure skaters and the hockey i'm looking at about 40 minutes okay then um, will they resurface it again they probably will they not probably won't. okay um we'll probably just go right into the ugly christmas sweater pageant yes because that will be on ice <laughs> um if you can't skate and you want to participate we'll figure out a way i'm hoping to get a rug or something where people can yeah. still come out because i don't want anyone to be discouraged from entering right um, we should give them nicknames too Yes. Yeah, you know, almost Fun. just like, yeah, you know, here comes Rudolph and, <laughs> or something. You do Christmassy. Absolutely. And there is no um, fee to join the pageant. Okay. Um, when you walk in, show your ugly Christmas sweater and you'll get a number so, <laughs> you and you're pageant. all set. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, I didn't even see it. that. Well, <laughs> so it's going to be about, <laughs> this is funny, walking out on, the, on, on there with style and profiling and you got, a totally nasty sweater on, <laughs> an ugly sweater. So they're going to grade you on your walk down the runway and back, too. That's awesome. 
<laughs> oh my god! Have fun with it. If, Be creative, Boatman. If he does it, I've got the greatest music for him to walk to. Oh yeah! Oh, that's gonna be funny. <laughs> and you know he'll he'll he probably have a helmet on too at the same time. <laughs> Good grief! Well, Devin, all I can say is hats off to you. You've done a great job. This event hasn't even happened yet. Uh, the first one has, but this is the second one coming up on December twentieth. Uh, on a Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. at the West York Community College Ice Arena. Again, you can sign up for Learn to Skate programs, free T-shirt. You get your picture taken with Santa. I mean, bring a non-perishable food item. Help out the Ludington Area Schools Resource Center. And, Devin, you've done a great job. And uh, I'm sure your work isn't completed yet. You know, you're still probably working all the way up to the time you put skates on that night. Yes. So Yeah. But uh, uh, I applaud you. You're doing a heck of a job. You're taking this. To a different level, I mean, figure skating in this area, you know, all they had was hockey. Now they got something uh, to hang their skates on. You know, you, you, the girls are recognized, they're known, and I think that everything is just going to keep going forward. It's going to be great. And I, and I can't uh, thank you enough for what you're doing to help out the, uh, uh, the needy uh, kids in this area through the Resource Center. Well, thank you. I well, love is there it. anything else you would like to add? I don't think so. Just come out, have yeah. a good time, like enjoy our facility. Um, you know, come out with your family, bring kids, bring grandkids, right. bring neighbors, kids, bring kids you found walking down the street. Yep. Just, I mean, bring it's them in. A, a great time. And uh, the pizza and hot cocoa and ugly sweater. That's enough. Huh? Yeah, you can. And then, you know, the, to watch the girls out there skating, you know, I didn't, I wasn't in Midland, but from what you told me, it was an amazing scene with one of them. I can only imagine what both of them are going to be like out there. And the music, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be really neat. And this program, figure skating, I, I mean, you have done something in this area nobody else has. So how does that feel to know that you're the one, and you're gonna take this program, and, and you have taken it, and uh, you've run with it, and it's uh, it's really really excelling. It's great. It's more than you know I've ever dreamed of from being a kid. You know I've always wanted to be able to share the talent that I had, and right. this is bigger and better than anything I ever could have imagined. Well, you got White Castles, you've got all that <laughs> stuff from back home. I mean, that's pretty big in a minute, Portillo's. And you're a Cubs fan. I am not a Cubs uh, fan. Oh, see, I tried to slip that by you, but it yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're a South Sider, but again, congratulations on everything you're doing. Look forward to it. It's going to be a great event. I, I know I'm looking forward to it, Boatman. Uh, we're going to have fun, you know, and, and – we're going to put a lot of smiles on people's faces, and I think this is going to be amazing. And you're welcome to come back on before the event and definitely afterwards so we know exactly what uh, was done and how many people we were able to help Wonderful. out. Wonderful. Thank you so much. All right. That was Devin Crosco. She is in charge of the second annual Christmas on Ice, West Shore Community College Ice Arena, December 20th. 1 to 4 p.m. Get out there. Non-perishable food item, ugly sweater thing. It's going to be a great night. Get out there and enjoy uh, helping out others in this time of need. We'll be right back with more County Line Sports right after this.